Hi guys. Hello everyone. Hello, hello, hello. And we're watching Hunter Hunter. Uh, 114. Ridiculous. Just like the second that we were about to start, my neighbor stopped playing traditional Serbian music. But I thought if this continued, and like I'm watching the dramatic <laughs> summit with traditional Serbian music King in the background. The, uh, about Komogi. Komogi. King fighting. I mean, we're gonna be apparently in a minute, so I'm, I'm not sure what is gonna be happening. What's gonna happen in the show? I don't know. Like, I, like what I. What's gonna happen in this episode? Because I, I am don't playing. know. You know, we can. And this be can be like thirty seconds, and classic. I don't. We can be just with, let's say, the king. One and... battle, you know, or just with king. No, we can be in one movement. We can be in one <laughs> movement. Like we can be just like in the king's mind, which. Would love. I love how you're very positive talking that we're gonna be with King and I'm like <sighs> we can have a battle between Shoot and you know the I mean we do need to I have. think honestly when Shoot said that like he needs to survive to think gone, I kind of feel more positive about Shoot's outcome me too. Me too. with life. Again, I think Morel if someone's gonna die that's the thing. I, I, I don't know who's gonna die and if somebody's gonna die. I can't say for certain because like I it just hard with shows. I mean, with fucking Hunter, specifically. Yeah, I to ha- get anything. Exactly, I don't know. No, I with really Hunter, I have no idea. Know. But if one human is gonna die, yeah, morale. I expect that to be morale. But, but like, I saw yeah, a it comment. can be Kilua's grandfather and... Oh, they can uh, die easily. And, uh, uh, Netero. Netero. I feel like the two of them is... Are Honestly, probably and like, so like I don't know if we need to have another of because those are no, two the yeah. strongest ones, you know. I really I have no idea how whether I think Netero dies or not because like you know when we saw Netero's backstory and how strong he is and everything, he is the strongest being alive, and then the king just moved and he didn't feel. <laughs> no. And then you're like, oh no, no, oh no. <laughs> Honestly, again, I still think the same. Like nothing changes for me. I don't think one is gonna kill the other in the battle. Mm. Again, I don't know if the battle is going to happen. I don't... I still, in my opinion, have hope. I don't know why King would die then, you know, if King is going to die. But, like, because I expect him to die. That's why I'm leaning that the battle is going to happen, you know? Me too. The thing is, I still hope for King wanting some type of resolution. Something. I'm leaning towards it, especially now yeah, with but King like, Mugi, I, I, Komugi I, being hurt. Uh, I agree with you, but then it's just, like, I cannot imagine this arc ending with him surviving and so like why would he die then because like you know Netero and grandpa saw that he has the capability of caring about someone mm. and they were shocked about that you know and so like i wonder how they approach this whole situation mm. right mm. now because i mean again if they decided right now to fight against him it's not like you can say that they are wrong like we can understand why they're gonna fight against him just because like there is a potential of him having humanity and feeling it and everything um it's a lot to like you're hanging the balance of the world on your assumption that like he is capable of feeling that you know uh, but like even if you uh, have the assumption that he is not capable mm-hmm. then you are not giving that a chance yeah that he like if they decide not now to not even try to talk you're not giving that a chance and maybe you die maybe he wins yeah and then you have nothing you can't yeah. do anything because you don't know how strong he is. You don't know that you're going to be in that fight, you know? Yeah, yeah. So, like, I think that is preferable option for any scenario. Yeah. Uh, and I would really, really love them if they would do that, to try to do that. And I would love that for the story, for the plot, for everything. Again, I still don't know how King would die. Again, I didn't predict anything in the show. So, like, no. it, can, it can happen. I was going to say, I saw a comment... Someone said, like, which could be spoiler, but it really doesn't tell me anything. Something about, can't wait to for both of you to see how right and wrong you are. But, like, you don't know anything. It's so, like, right and wrong. On what? Yeah. <laughs> right and wrong. Fuck. Like, like I, I have not, like, I, I, and I have And honestly, we give so many possibilities. That uh, something has to be similar to because something that Because, let's say, it can be that, like, uh... We're right about Gon and wrong about King. <laughs> yeah. Or wrong or, about Netero yeah. and, uh, you know. Like... Yeah, I mean, there's so many. But we have said every possibility. No, exactly. no, we haven't. That's the thing. We haven't. <laughs> yeah, because I we am sure the thing the right that's one. gonna happen, <laughs> we have not mentioned it. Like, maybe we're just like, we're on the right path for something. But, like, but, like nothing. Love... Like, really, I, I, I know nothing here. I would love us to be right about... Um, Pito. Pito. Me and Gon. Because I just think that's a right and such a good storyline for, for Gon, which is, again... 
he's our main guy yeah. and we love him some more than others <laughs> I'm joking. That is my preferable scenario for him and where his character yeah. would go. And Again, for Pito. Uh, sure, of course. Yeah. It just like I care. I mean, of compare. course, of course. But like, I, I just like the story would be good. Yeah, and it's just like again, it's uh, it's about the story of the chimeras mm. and what they're capable of feeling, and like I really that like that is very important to me, and of like course. that's why the king is. I mean, at the forefront of yeah. that, and like I am very. Like, the king is my favorite character in this arc, like, by far. It's because of that, like, possibility that we're going into. Like, again, we saw in the last episode the way that he spoke to Pito. Like, More favorite her. than Knuckle. Oh, God. You can't put it like that. You can't put it like that. Because Knuckle is my sunshine. Knuckle is everything right in this world. He is the, in this entire show, he is the best that we have to offer to humanity. He's definitely my top five characters of the show. Uh, like, but, but without a doubt. Uh, the, the thing with King, I need to see until it finishes. Because I, I he can be you. as well. He I, really I can be. I agree with you. The potential where you're going is definitely something that I really love. And I, I think that is, if we go down that path, he he's definitely going to be up. Easily. The top, Easily. like I always have my two boys, but like also Kurap- Kurapika, he's he's forever gonna be. Uh, am I like? Is this gonna be controversial to say Kurapika is still my number one? I adore my boys. Kurapika is still my number one. I think. I mean that's fine. Yeah. yeah. I mean he wasn't back then my number one. He was back then my number two, so he yeah. just stayed my number two. <laughs> he was my number one then. <laughs> but like, uh, he doesn't have to stay depending on where Gon's character go. Gon, mm. Gon can go on top for me with. Next to Kirua, or yeah. even before, God knows, depends on God. There is no I doubt universe. It. I doubt it, but depending there on where the story no goes, universe. because like I grew to love him so much in this season. Yeah. Depending on where the story goes, I'm not gonna say anything yet. Guys, please. But again. Who believes that in any universe, Milma is gonna put Gon above Kurapika? Not Kurapika, Kirua. I, I do not. No one believes I this. I do not, but we'll see. Never say never, you know? I mean, sometimes say never. But, uh, but again, I think Knuckle is there as well. I really Knuckle love him. I really yeah. love everything about him. I respect him as a human being so much. Yeah. Uh, and also we have King. So like that could be top five depending on where King goes and how, yeah, what happens. There. Again, that's my favorite storyline. Like, so you ask me like, is it my favorite of Knuckle? You know, then Knuckle is my sunshine. It's just like the King's storyline. I agree. I mean, yeah, like it can't compare. It can't you know compare what I mean? Like it can't others, compare so, yeah. the potential of it the story of it is it's the best story of the show uh, with what it can be i maybe i don't yeah. know i love uh Kurapika's Kurapika's. story but like i think it's not finished yeah but, in i mean some I, ways so like yeah that's like if Kurapika is, is unfinished though yeah so like if it stays unfinished then maybe i don't know we'll see i'm just very excited to see uh what happens in this episode i mean the king and the natural and grandpa are kind of going to fight in another room uh, like, the king gave them an option to, like, separate himself from his guard. I mean, I don't know, like, we know where Yupi is, and we know also where um, Shia LaBeouf is, but, like, he can start heading towards the king. Yeah. So, I don't know, what, like, what we do there. A lot of things are happening. A lot of things are happening, and, like, episodes last a minute so i'm not quite certain what we're gonna get to i'm like we are gonna hang out with our main character the narrator yeah apparently we're with him a lot now i'm very excited i'm very excited and slightly nervous but like we're not we are not at the point where you know anyone is gonna die or things are gonna go south we're still like discovering what what we're doing yeah i agree so i'm very excited very excited to see pito as well me too I, I, I mean, if we're gonna like I continue know. that in this episode, it can There's be next two, five. I, that's what I mean. In five episodes, it and can that's be gonna the be first five minutes of the show. Though, you know, it's like I don't know. Me neither. I have no idea. Me neither. Uh, let's see. 113. Did I say we're watching 114? I don't know. <laughs> we're watching 113. <laughs> don't repeat what happened in the last episode. We only have a minute. You know. <laughs> they always repeat it, and then. We go into and the intro. Yeah. Why do we repeat that? I literally remember. How could I forget? Yeah. He looks horrifying. Yeah. Like, I, no offense, boy. A you bit look prettier horrifying. <laughs> okay. So we're gonna be with them? Maybe. Maybe with everybody? 
You think the intro I don't know. You think the intro would usually like no, they usually throw one no, scene. Yeah. I think we're gonna start with them. Yeah, I, I think they're like, oh remember what happened in this one? Because I know you're all thinking about the king and Komugi and everyone else, and you would be correct. I love that he is so much in the intro of this arc and we had him for like he is the three most episodes. But like, but, like he is yeah. person. Yeah. And like if Gon does I mean Gon is definitely gonna kill Pito, but like no, if he does it like in such a way where Pito is, you know, yeah. capable of having those emotions and everything, then like it Maybe makes how see, it like is. is that when he heals Pito when he becomes this? Mm -hmm. Like my favorite shot. I mean, not a favorite shot because it terrifies me. Oh. Do you think we'll see Kurapik until the end? Yeah, I think in the last half. In Leorio as well. I think we're gonna see both of them. In Leorio, how's like college? How's how's your doctor? thing going. Have you learned Nan? It would be good if we needed help with medicine and we that's found so him. Cute. I would love that. Me because too. that's why he did all of this. That an insect. Is oh my king, god. Is the king in that too? Pito over saving Komuki. But like insect. The insect. That's so fascinating. Yeah. Great. Okay. Love when we separate. Okay. Where is Yupi? Here he is. <laughs> Horrifying. Horrifying. Stop moving those arms. But he's definitely not my favorite one yet. So. Go beneath his legs. Beneath his legs. How long? How, do you understand that it has been two minutes? Because he can't hold his breath for so long. Sure. Honestly, he could have taken it in this like That's what bubble. I, was say. I didn't know what I was about to say. How are we, boy? You look fine. Oh, oh that doesn't look fine. My Model, voice. how are you? The rest is up to you. Then I feel good. We should have... Why don't we come up with codes? Like, when we want Knuckle to move, say... Oh, this hurts very badly. What does the rest is up to you mean? I don't know, this looks so good. Like, you're gonna go and then the rest is up to him? Okay. Let's fucking go. Okay, so he's attacking Yupi. That's not good then. Mm, this is not good, no, this is not good. Okay. Sure, but he is distracted. This is terrifying. He is horrifying. Where are these eyes? Oh, he has lies everywhere. I don't like that! See what I mean? Oh, fuck. He's fast, he's fucking fast. You know what I mean? Why do you so are you so fast? Oh that's smoke, okay, okay, that's not him. Okay. Yes he will. Yes he will, right? Hello. Oh my god. Okay. But didn't we already establish that that does not really do much for him? Shoot? Oh, shoot! How nice, we figured this out in the middle exactly, of battle. Exactly what we well, needed. you know. Love that for me usually. So why are you doing it? To look old? <laughs> He's he is a changed man. Yeah. Could, now, boy, I cannot relate to you. I don't know, he's... He's like making it hard for himself. <laughs> but like, that will make his nan stronger. Why didn't you shoot punch the eyes? You know what I mean? I think he is, there's just too many eyes. <laughs> Oh, oh he can weapon. take, okay, 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 okay. 
お顔を生かすため。ああ。ああ、ノンケンダイ、ノンケンダイ、マイファーキンセンリこれが終わったらまず、うまい酒あるほど飲んで、よっぱらおうぜ。I, he can't die. No one can no. die. I, I would not survive it. He's so good. I love him. Where are they? You cannot approach Pito while she is saving our girl. You cannot come to her then. They cannot come to her then. Because, like, if you meddle with her saving her. So he can use it, okay. Great. Love that for us. What? No! What? What? I mean, there's other okay. chimeras, you know what I mean? Okay. Oh. My sweet boy. Oh, what do we separate? To save Ikalgo? Yeah, I love that. that I but like, that. if Gon comes I know, I by do. himself. Oh no. Over oh, back, where? Don't repeat the Why are you repeating the thing we saw? Time. We are so limited on time! I feel uneasy when Nair is actually not telling me things. Aww, my sweet boy. To save you. Yeah, but like, I love this. You said that we can't. Yeah. And he doesn't take it his. But you have friends that you want to protect, my sweet boy. Now I'm freeze. His his mind has to unfreeze right now. I'm sure that he did this in a nanosecond. Yeah. His body did not. Is those the his, yes. We haven't seen him in a fight or This is a joke to him. This was like he didn't even lose a five seconds. Oh my god, remember? Yeah, I remember. This was and one other. Uh, yeah. This would be That's me. right. Such Hide. a hard person. Run. <laughs> but like Ikalgo. He's gonna be a problem. Ikalgo. Will he go after Ikalgo? My sweet boy. No. No! <gasps> yeah, yeah, you think so. Why? For the love of God! No! No! Why is it always fucking you? My god. But like, you don't know something is wrong. You don't know something is wrong. They would not know. 
To them, this would be flutter. Chit is not even that smart, you know what I mean? Crunchy! <laughs> Mind your own business. What? What do you mean? Ah, uh, too fast. Uh, and too fast, it's like uh, icky came. Yeah, they working together. Yeah, because he didn't see everything there. Maybe Flutter killed him. How would you know? Oh, where are we now? I don't know. The music is a bit different. It's, it's always okay. him. Yeah. Are you playing? I don't think he's going to play How the violin right now. How do you feel about this? Now he's gonna cry out his <laughs> But you know, the dramatic cry is gonna happen right now. <laughs> he is one that's most in touch with his emotions. <laughs> this is what I expected. <laughs> this is exactly what I expected. Even though, even though it is sad, it is. I mean, this is what they are created to be. Poof, poof, poof. Fucking poof, let me just tell you. <laughs> he figured it out. Exactly. Yeah, I, I just waited. Exactly. For My boy, for the love of God, be careful. This is scary. I don't. I don't know. I don't know what's gonna happen. I don't know. I don't like that the music stopped. Mm -mm. I don't like that he's speaking this calmly. Spiritual message. He said that can be how he reads the king. I think spiritual message or something. Then, okay. God, they every fucking scene they left on a cliffhanger. Where are you, my boy? Oh my god! No, no, no. My boy. My boy, she's quite literally healing someone. I feel so alone. <laughs> A lot has happened this episode, right? 
I feel like a lot of uh, and they have every fucking character is left on a cliffhanger. cliffhanger or life and death situation kind of everything has started and I <laughs> every episode lasts so short and at the but same the, time this one to so me fucking lands, long yeah. so I, many things happen this episode like where the fuck should I start no honestly this episode where? was really packed because again I mean, that's how many episodes feel mm. right now because we have so many characters that are on completely uh, different sides. Yeah. And we follow a second, but because narrator talks, those scenes la- last for long. I think it's good. Like, I really love the way it was done because, like, uh, again, I love to know our characters' motives, the reason why they do something, how they feel about those things. For example, I really think that the scenes were Kilua goes off the plan and we are in his mind yeah and we know why he did it and it's so interesting to hear how even him himself doesn't know why he did those things yeah, like his like body shocked by himself shocked with what he did especially because he was like stick to the plan yeah uh, uh but like and with not sticking to the plan yes he saved he saved Iki, but like he risked or his yeah, I mean, the, like, it's a, it's a multitude of things because, like, he just, like, instinctively went to protect his friend. You know, Which he, I like, love. thought, he saw that those guys and Nikki is going in that direction and he did the same thing that he would have done for Gon, you know, that for is... his friend. He just, he didn't really think it through. Um, he for... just yeah. acted and, like, that's what you do for a friend. And, like, there was a multitude of things that, like, you know, he is when he did kill those guys and everything and he was shocked he went off plan because like he now has friends and he's like doing things that like let's say you could say are irrational um even though like to me seem like the most rational that's things what, that's what i want to say i this is my preferable option yeah, me too this is the reason why you do go off the plan you me know too. and i really love it for him especially because uh it's not gone like, mm-hmm. I love everything that he does for Gon. You know, yeah. guys know how much we love the relationship the two of them have. Especially that thing uh, from Kilua's side, yeah. you know? Uh, the way he wants to protect him and is always there for him. And is thinking about him constantly. Like, he's his priority because he's his first friend, you know? But, like, the fact that it's Iki, yeah. you know? Yeah. Uh, Again, it shows to... It, it goes to show how far he has come. Mm. To like have that instinct about someone that is not gone. Yeah. To just like go and and protect him and then and that be the shocked sh- that he has done this now. Yeah, but like I love that for the show as well, where it shows how strong relationship is bond between Chimera and a human, you know? How there is not yeah. much of a difference, you know? Yeah, yeah. Um and then like because he did that, like Iki was going towards him and then he felt like guilty a bit because like he didn't necessarily trust like the, that goes to show for Iki in that moment that like Kilua did not have let's say kind of like faith in him being able to handle that on his own you know I mean, like Gon would also be mad at that you mm-hmm. know like if Kilua went to protect Gon somewhere Gon would be like uh, excuse me I can handle this myself mm-hmm. you know and so like there was a bit of uh, that there as well because like now he's done, he has done this and like it seems like he uh, doesn't think that like he can handle that by himself, which like that, that does not mean that. It just means like, oh, I love you. I want to take care of this for you, you know, just like in case. But like that's what, what he felt and like because of that thing, because he went off... Um, on something that was not planned, the fucking guy. Our, our, our Sherlock Holmes, literally. The fucking guy who cannot mind his own business uh, saw that. And so, like, now he knows because, like, with Icky being Flutter, he is. He is concealed. You know, he can't pretend that he's one of the guys. And now there is one guy, one chimera that knows that something is off. Mm. That like potentially um, a flutter is working with our guys. Um, now. But like he is, uh, he said that like, is, is there more? 
Like, yeah. it was this Leo's plan. Leo, yeah, like, yeah, he does not he, know where it comes from. So, like, from, I don't think he's gonna get out now. But, like, he's gonna be definitely a problem for the future. Mm-hmm. Again, mm-hmm. I am terrified for Iki, but, like, I hope that, like, we're gonna be good. Me too. Because, like, now Chira and the other one are appearing. Yeah, I think he can manage to get out of that by pretending to be flattered. Yeah. You know, I think that's the yeah, way I he's gonna get out gonna of the situation. Fun, yeah. Um, But, yeah, like, that is, that is the problem that occurred now because... Kilo kind of went off plan. Yeah, uh, especially because like I think it's even scarier that we know that he's not coming out. Yeah, you know, if he came out, I would be like, oh, something's gonna We're happen. We're gonna handle yeah, it now. So, uh, so he's gonna get help or something like that. You know, yeah. this case scenario, like we know that he knows and that he's observing the situation, would just mean he can come out in any, at any point when he realizes yeah. that like it's just sticky. Yeah, he just fucking icky, you know. Even though he doesn't know that it's icky, he still thinks that it's flutter. So like, yeah. If I, will, I don't know, we're gonna have to see that. No, it's gonna be happening there. Like we are not in the best position, but I feel like it's gonna be fine. You know, he just like he needs to figure things out yeah. now. Uh, but again, I love that Kilo did that. I think that's like that's more important to me for his of character course. than us making any type of like mistake or whatever. Yeah, you know, like this is. I think it tells a lot about where he has, how far he has come that is like instinctual for him to just like go and protect his friend. Uh, that's not gone. <laughs> he has other friends. Can we believe this? Um, so I love that for for him. Which part now do we talk about shoot sure. and technically morale as well? Because like now morale, I think, I, can't, I, I guess morale and shoot were the ones that were supposed to go for Shia LaBeouf. Because, like, he said, like, I'm gonna leave this one to you. And I'm gonna go and handle this. Because, like, our boy Knuckle... It, like, there's two of them there, right? Like, they, they split things into two, two, two. And Knuckle has um, Mello. And so I'm gonna... I, I assume Shoot was supposed to go with uh, Morel. And now Morel is alone handling uh, Shy, Which we're gonna get to later on. Shoot has found this new strength in like being kind of in a disadvantaged position like he broke his leg like his yeah. his leg is kind of like he cannot use it yeah. but like he found a way in all that chaos um he found um a new strategy to use his power which he is basically like he is on his leg kind of like flying about oh, and that yeah. gave him some type of like confidence i mean i think what happened with the gun is yeah really yeah, yeah. Motivated him yeah and so like now he can like think and not uh, freeze yeah in yeah. fear and so like he is using now his ability in different ways and he even like it was it, it felt funny to me when the narrator said for no particular reason he like yeah he like covered his eye yeah. like is that the narrator like not really knowing like the narrator Tells you a lot of things that are happening, but like, I mean, when he covers his eye, does that not like make his nan stronger? Is that not like what, you know, when you give more restrictions, mm-hmm. your nan is stronger, right? So like him covering his eye, that's a restriction, I'm going to assume. And thus, his nan is stronger. I don't know. It might not be that. Maybe he was just being dramatic when he covered his eye. I'm not quite sure. <laughs> but like, I why would he do that? I was you know like, what I mean? He found this new confidence. So he's like, I can do this with he, one eye. No, I'm like, I know I want to look badass while doing it. You know what I mean? So I'm gonna, <laughs> for me to look badass, I'm gonna cover <laughs> my one eye and like possibly die for me to look badass. <laughs> I would hope that he had better reasonings for this. Like I, mean, I would this hope. This mine was a bit of a joke. Yeah. Joke and. But like the the narrator was like, there was no reason for him to do this. <laughs> so like I don't know. Maybe it was. I, I don't expect anything special to happen from that. I guess not. Because if it does, then it's done. Again, the only thing that I can like see like not yeah, special yeah. is that like if because he put a like a restriction technically on himself, which would make his nan more powerful, and like he kind of needs a powerful nan because he is using it to move. Yeah, yeah. You know, like he cannot use his legs to move. He like needs to use like his his hand is propping him up. Mm-hmm. So like maybe it's because of that or. <laughs> Some other reason. If there is any other reason, it's a bad reason. You know what I mean? Like, why would we do this? Why would we restrict our view? I don't know. I think he's not... I'm, like, honestly fucking 
uh, Yupi, horrifying. <laughs> Yupi, I, so scary. Yeah, I love the difference between each of the guards. They are right night now. and day. They have not Yupi and Puff. Ridiculous in common. Ridiculous. Like different. not one single thing in common. No, no, no. Puff was. It was funny. And then it was sad as no, well. No, the thing is, the show makes it seem funny. Because yeah. he's very dramatic, you know? He is so she, dramatic. He either screams from crying or from but laughing like, like, or from both. Like but like is... when he started talking shit about the horrible things about himself, then it's sad. Like he is then it's... going through a breakdown. Mm-hmm. And like while he's doing that, he's like making moves. And so like it's funny that he's going through this breakdown and like his leg is above his head. Like why... <laughs> Why is your leg above his head? <laughs> so like that is the funny bit, but like when we listen to but, what he says, he is like really struggling uh, a lot with self confidence for uh, amongst the other things. Yes, you know? but like he is also struggling with the fact that like uh, the king is not what he wants him to be. He was like, I went into this room actually knowing that the king is not gonna be in this room but i hoped for him to be in this room and i chose to go into this room um because of what i hoped what i was gonna see and like i knew that i was not gonna see that here because like the king that he hopes the king to be which is like not like not his name but like the king as the most powerful being the king is right now not being that because like this knowing komugi has like fundamentally changed him and started making him question everything but like for me it was always interesting how he tuned with feelings here yeah that's very like even before king the thing is like he always thought that was a possibility yeah he didn't want that for the king and even now he's like uh belittling humans because he said like king did that and that because of uh, he started to care for bel- for a small human but like he didn't yeah. say small but like he like a fucking a insect po- for him yeah made a point that like they are be- beneath them yeah you know? of course uh and that, that but like it was always interesting how he realizes what can happen and what king can feel and mm. what can change his opinions and perspective you know uh but like he doesn't want that. No, no. Just because, like, because... everything that he... Like, the reason why he is built and everything that he knows is, like, it seems... for the king to be the yeah, king. Yeah, but, like, it seems to me that he thinks that that would uh, uh, be... That king could, could be weaker. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Because of these absolutely. things. He well, yeah, because, be... like, he cannot be that, like... He cannot conquer fucking worlds if he feels actually yeah. something for yeah. this. And that is not what he wants the king to be because, like, everything that he has been, like, basically born into thinking what the king should be and what they should protect um, is not right now what the king is is doing. And so, like, he is struggling with that and knowing that. And because of Komugi, he kind of wants to kill Komugi. (laughs) But, like, if you kill Komugi, that's going directly against what the king wants from you. But and like so he like, needs to protect the king and yeah. like wouldn't this uh, killing, let's say, Komugi be protecting king from himself? And yeah, but like you know? the king would... That's not what the king wants. So exactly. like it's, 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 a con- it's a conflict. I mean, that's why he is losing his mind exactly, right now. That's what he's exactly. going through a breakdown. Um, and so like there's a, there's a lot of things that, that are happening in his mind. But yeah, like you but said, like, I think uh, yeah, it's so interesting that he is so in tune. Like even in the, the beginning, start, like in the beginning, yeah. Ten episodes ago when he first saw how King was playing more than usually and how King would kill that person uh, much before, you know? Yeah. Uh, immediately he started thinking, which is very interesting to me. Because again, I don't know why. Because technically they should have a cap- capability of feelings and th- thinking and yeah. you know of everything uh but like it was i think it has to do with like the way that his nan works so he can give other people yeah, yeah, nan. True, so like true. i think he has to be connected in some way to be able to read other people uh, and that's yeah. the way that his nan works so he's kind yeah. of like in tuned possibly yeah. to other people yeah. but like it, it was very interesting that like the scene ended 
not very interesting to me because I mean you know what I mean for morale uh, no. <laughs> yeah because like I wasn't very very scared for morale mm. at the, before this episode like I am scared but like for the future you know mm. like I'm pushing always but like somehow that scene him crying and uh, laughing and losing his mind and then bam it was quiet Mo- music stopped uh, he stopped crying well, he's not being dramatic yeah, he stopped Terrifying. crying, and uh, he saw Morel, and Morel just had, uh, and he just like went next to Morel because he doesn't care. He doesn't care to kill. He doesn't care about any of that. He cares for the king, you know. Yeah, it's not like like Morel is just like right now uh, a nuisance to him. Exactly. He just wants to get out of this to get to he the king. Exactly, he wouldn't even kill him. No. Uh, he if he could just like, that. He if like, he could just push him and for what, that power to stop, he's he, going to the king. He even said like, "What do I have to do for you to let mm. me go?" Mm. And but like we never saw him in a fight Mm-mm. because like for all we know right now his nan uh, was to make other people's nans or like things like that. Yeah, he like hypnotized the humans. Yeah, but like we like, don't know exactly what he can he do fights, exactly. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, but like it was scary to me because we know that he's high on emotions yeah. at this point. But like the music stopped. Those and it all quiet. Uh, that was uh, honestly why, like, I didn't feel good after that scene. Mm-hmm. Like, like it made me so anxious. Yeah. Uh, yeah. So I am, I am terrified. But like, what I realized is in this episode is like I'm gonna die if Morel dies. <laughs> Like I would I, I don't know how to explain to you I understand that like I don't think she dies I'm 100% she dies but like it would be easier for me you don't have to agree you know I don't understand what you said <laughs> it would be easier for me if, if she dies yeah then, um, then Morel I understand yeah I understand when he said that he wants to hug them and he's if like, he dies to... and doesn't have also who are you lying to he said I need to get them drunk because that's the only way they're gonna let me hug them the two of them? The two of them. Knuckle? Really? <laughs> the knuckle is a hugger. Like, you cannot convince you me otherwise. Like, you can... Like, maybe, like, begrudgingly uh, grudging. so. Gr- but, like, when you hug me, it's like, okay, I guess. He's grudgingly hugging you, yeah. I should feel like we'll hug you normally. Dogs, he would hug. He hugs them. He cares for them. That's because I mean, he's the he, best human yes, alive. Yes, I mean, he cares for humans. He saves their lives. He will do anything for them. But, like, yeah, I don't think he's... um he would hug that easily with a smile. Morel must be so jealous of Mello. Mello is not constantly hugging him. Hugging him? Oh he my is god. He's constantly hugging him. Exactly. So like when he said that I realized that I'm gonna die if he dies and that I would m- uh, easier survive shoot, you know? Uh, uh, and that I don't know how if that happens, how that's gonna happen. And... Uh, like uh, legitimately, I need uh, Shia LaBeouf mm. to... Because like again, like you said, it's not like he is concerned with Morel like mm-hmm. killing him or something like that. I legitimately he just wants to get to the king. And so like if you could just like harm him enough for like the the walls or whatever to drop and for you to leave, do that. Yeah. Do that. Because, because like he's not gonna care to like go and finish the business. Like sh- like Puff does not seem like the type, you know? He just wants to get to the king as fast as possible. And so like if Morel because of an injury or whatever, like, stops the walls from, like, for the smoke walls, whatever it's called, poof, is out of there. Mm. So, like, that is honestly our only way for him to survive. Yeah, yeah. So, <laughs> let's do that, please. Please. Well, let's do I'm that. Uh, technically, we are all where we are supposed to be. Yeah. yeah judging by the plan. We are. So, like... Things are gonna start happening now, meaning like problems. What the? Uh, yeah, we're gonna talk about gone, but like I mean, just before. Not even gone. What the fuck are the king and Natero and uh, Graham? That's the thing. Like the problem that, that there can happen is that like King has can, can get feelings. That's the problem that there can happen. Uh, uh, uh where with the others, the problem can happen in a fight. You know, our guys can get very badly injured or killed. You know. Uh, the thing uh, we, uh, where with Natero and uh, Grandpa, they can't get killed because then we're dead. All of us, you know. Uh, so, yeah, just pointing that out. Like, I'm wondering in which direction. Those are our options. The problems are going to come. Is it going to be with King or they're just like the rest of our people dying? Uh, and we also have Khan, who is going to be tall. And we saw that. 
angry look at his face at the end. God, it's not even an angry look on his face. He is yeah. enshrouded in darkness. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. He is covered in darkness. Yeah. Yeah. He is... His face. Terrifying. His face no, is horrifying. Terrifying. terrifying. Um, that, this, like, presents a lot of problems. Mm-hmm. Because, like, first... <laughs> Not at all. Did you really have to tell him where she is? Did you have to tell him? Uh, of course he did. Because we're did going, you have to tell him? We have the plan and we, that we need. I know to... and he needs to take care of it all. Exactly. Uh, the, th- the thing is, uh, Pito right is, now is Pito healing is a fucking very... girl. Exactly. Pito right now is healing a fucking girl, and like the way that uh, the king told Pito, "I'm counting on you." She's gonna fucking save that girl. Like, she's gonna put more a priority on saving that girl than, like, fighting against Gon. And that could be a way of Gon to, like, defeat her. Because, like, her priority is gonna be on the girl. Very easy. And saving the girl. You know? I mean, I think Gon is... And Gon is I... not... Honestly, Gon is not even gonna fucking see the girl from the rage. He's not gonna be thinking about, but, like, like... what do you think the way the story is gonna go? I don't know. I think... I mean, I... I don't know where the story goes with Komugi. I... Gon is gonna kill it all. Yes. But, like, the and, thing like, is... With Komugi, with her healing her now, right now, I have no idea what's gonna happen. Like, is he gonna even see that? Is he gonna acknowledge that? Is he not gonna care? Because that is a problem. I think he's not gonna care. That is a problem. Because, like, you saw his face there, then and there. I don't think he is, with this face, I don't think he's capable of caring about anything when he sees Pito in front of him. You know what I mean? Then it's, uh, it's better not to see the girl than to see the girl who is dying. If you have anything, if he sees that uh, she's but like, killing I, the thing is, ugh, I don't know. I because like, if I, he doesn't see Komugi, doesn't he see that like Pito is healing her, that's better for me with Gon's character. You know what I mean? Yeah. If he sees that she's healing her, and the girl is gonna die potentially if he kills uh, Pito right then and there. You know, and he does it anyways. That's a problem for me. I just, that's a step I just, too I far. Can't, for I just me. can't imagine him just like standing there while like. She's finishing up saving this. Because, like, would he not... <laughs> Again, I think I'm speaking in the abstract because I can't even imagine Gon thinking in that way. But, like, this is not... I'm literally, at this point, not watching Gon. If, when he gets overwhelmed with this anger, mm-hmm. I am not sure who I'm watching. And so, like, I can tell you if Maybe it's Kalua. the Gon that I know, Gon is not gonna, like, stop a girl from being saved. But... Where is Kalua going? This, he's going towards Gon. Maybe he's, he's just gonna, like five seconds behind. Maybe I'm not he's sure. gonna stop him before. You know what I mean? Maybe he's gonna. I know, I know, I know, I know what you mean. But it's just like, he's, he's... is this not like an opportunity? Okay. For them to defeat uh, Pito. Okay. Because like she would be distracted. It, it, because like if she, I feel like if she is at her full power, giving her her full power. Like uh, I don't know if you understand what I what I mean. If he does that before she kill healed Komugi, so like Komugi would die. Maybe like she heals her halfway, like so she is she... still like alive, but like I don't know how Gon's character. You know, like there is a line. <laughs> yeah, and. Killing Komugi, he, he killing Pito, even though Pito would, let's say, what we thought in the previous episode, even though Pito would be able to have feel that's not crossing a line for me, for Gon's character. But look, this, Komugi, depending on how Komugi this is done, can be saved, like, in spite of Gon. You know what I mean? Oh, yeah, like, unless Kilua like, saves her, grabs her before no, just like Gon's punches. Just like that Pito's. If Full Gon, strength goes into saving her. If Gon punches, Komugi is there. <laughs> yeah, I just Komugi like I can't. I don't like. I don't know. The thing is because like again, I'm not against killing uh, Pito uh, when she's distracted. If you want, if you understand what I yeah. mean, that's not crossing a line to me. I yeah. don't care for the fake fair fight in the situation like this. Yeah, okay. You know, uh, uh, but like we could cross a line there. If the girl can potentially not die, and he sees that the girl is gonna die if he kills uh, Pito, and he does it anyways, that is crossing the line. Even if the girl uh, uh, gets saved afterwards, you know what I mean. Mm-hmm. But like, if he knowingly kills Pito, and he 
things, not knowing what's going to happen with a girl. Things that she can die. You know? That is crossing the line to me. A bit. Again. I expected I mean, again, God the to pe- cross some type of line. You did? Like, again, like, what is that line? I, like... I don't know, because, like, when you are this enraged and not, like, thinking straight, there has to be a consequence to that. Again, shown throughout the show, uh, these, like, questionable things about, like, gone. Who Again, those all of those questionable things, like, do not define his character that I think is, like, very, very good. I don't like, know Like, he is a very he... good and decent, kind of human, you know? Uh, I just, I, I just, I really, I really don't know what happens in this instant me neither, me neither. with his rage. And so, like, me that's neither. why this is a big question mark for me, because, like, I cannot work off of things that I know about Gon, because, like, yeah. Yeah. like, like we said in the intro, it, it's Kite, and we had Kite for, like, five, ten episodes. Like, we didn't have Kite for as much as, like, this arc has fucking been showing him, but, like, he is such... Influential. A, a, yeah, like, yeah. everything that we are doing right now for Gon especially is because of Kite and how he feels about that. And so, like, I don't know how, like, I don't know where Gon's mind is gonna go just, like, seeing Pito, because, like, when he just hears that Pito is nearby, Gon, he was gonna sh- kill he could have killed Morel, you know what I mean? Uh, without fucking seeing him and without acknowledging him. Yeah, no, no, I completely agree. I, I really completely agree. I'm just terrified uh, where it's gonna go. I'm really terrified. Because, like, there, is, there are lines for me that can be crossed which would make a character amazing. And there are some lines, again, uh, that I'm thinking we don't have time to go back from that. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, we need to leave off this show with me loving God, you know? Yeah. yeah. With me uh, having hope for the future for him, you know? Yeah. That he's going to grow better and better, Yeah. you know? And I don't know with him risking or affect some other life, Yeah. you know? Yeah. Innocent life, how and where that would lead. For Gon's character. I don't... Uh, I imagine him to go very dark. But like I never imagined him to cross those lines for me. So like that's why I'm hoping that's not going to completely happen in that way. Depending on how it's done. Of really? Course. Like I, I can't... Can, ama- like there are many ways this can go. Like there are many n- uh, nuances that can happen. Yeah. That can like completely change the scene for me. You know what I mean? Yeah, so, exactly. Like, there's so many exactly. things depending on how you do it. Exactly. And I can just like only wait and see to see how I feel about exactly, it. Like if exactly. it's like if, if we do cross a line, how I feel about us crossing of that course. line. And if I feel like that is acceptable to me or like exactly, not acceptable exactly. to me. Like there's like it, it's about details as well. Yeah. And I like I really don't know. I, I like I, the only have... thing I hope is that like I am going to feel okay about it at the end like not yeah. to say that I'm not like I could be mad at gone in the, in the in the moment with everything happening, but just like as long as they do it in a way that I think is, can be like, that there could be like positive progress after that after and everything. That, yeah, that's it. Because like, I'm going to be okay with that. Because these things can like make a character better uh, yeah. in my opinion. Yeah. Or going completely opposite yeah. way. You know? So like, really as long as you, it. and this is an amazing storyline for Gone. So as long, and it's been prepared from the start. Yeah. So as long as this makes he care his character better, yeah, I love it. Yeah, you know, I'm gonna love it. Yeah. Uh, so like we 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 have to think how we're gonna do this. But like I I think we can have more. We food. don't. They have the thing, yeah. and we can only no, watch that, and yeah. hope. Yeah, but that's what I wanna say. Like we, yeah. I think we should maybe have more faith. Have yeah. faith because like so far yeah. everything can be done great. You know. Yeah. Like and I really love that like it's it has been built up. It has yeah. been built up from the arc one you know so i I feel like it's gonna be i think we're i think everything's gonna be like great done well me too i think and so so like we just have to wait and see i mean this like again the next episode is gonna be another two minutes that pass and it's gonna be fucking the tension (laughs) i feel unwell just even thinking about going actually seeing pito i feel unwell and the king the king just walking the king just like walking yeah i don't know that's it, guys. Okay, guys. Thanks Thank for you watching. so much for watching. We'll see you very soon. Bye-bye. Bye.